yourselves and you're watching Bretto Live. What is going on guys? Bretto Live back with another video and today we have part two of Unrivaled Series 7. In this video we're going to be taking a closer look at Matt and Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks, as well as Nyla Rose. We're going to be unboxing and reviewing these figures in this video, taking a closer look, get them in hand, tell you what I think about them. And of course, we picked them up from Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com, using discount code Live at Chicken to save 10% if you ever use the code, save yourself some money over there. But yes, guys, without further ado, we're going to take a look at the packaging first, then we're going to get the figures out of the box and take a closer look yet again. Starting off at the front of the packaging, very similar to the Unmatched and the Unrivaled a packaging that Jazzworks has been using over the past couple of months here i think it's been a year now yeah it's been a year a year of aw figures which is absolutely insane you got the little gold foil at the front there the little window at the front so you can see the figures name of the superstar on that side they're not bad at all and then on this side you're getting a little picture of the superstar which is pretty cool on the back you can see another picture of the superstar right there where the attire was worn which is pretty awesome other people in this series you got lance archer and ftr which that video is already on the channel i definitely recommend checking out that video those figures are really really interesting and also the young buck as well as Nyla Rose. So without further ado, we are going to get into it, crack all these figures out of the box, and take a closer look at them. So here we have the Nyla Rose figure, starting off first with the accessories. She comes with the AEW Women's Championship. Not a bad title whatsoever. I believe we've seen it twice already in the Unrivaled line. I'm almost positive on that. I could be wrong. But yeah, it's a really nice looking title. Of course, it's tiny, of course, for the women, which is pretty cool. Uh, not a bad title. Not at all. We've seen it before. Pretty cool. And then she's also coming with this weird, like, scarf type thing, which, um, it's like a maroon type of scarf, which I think it's pretty cool that we're getting it, but is it supposed to look like that on the inside? I feel like it's just, like, torn. I don't know. It's it's weird. Like, you could cover it up once you put it on the figure. Like, you could cover it up just like that. But, like, is that how it's supposed to be? It's, like, torn at the ends. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, it's pretty cool that we're getting a cloth accessory. I'm not complaining. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And, of course, we do have the Nyla Rose figure. Here's a look at her head scan. It's not perfect, but it's definitely decent. I do think that does look like Nyla Rose a decent amount. It might be a little too big compared to the uh, body proportions of the actual figure itself. Uh, but like I said, it's not the worst head scan in the world. I don't think it looks too bad. I like the facial expression. I think they could have gone without the facial expression for this one, in my opinion, but it doesn't look too bad. You do have the little headband on the figure there. The long hair looking pretty freaking nice. I love that color. Keep that in mind. This color of hair looks really good. I'm going to talk about the Young Bucks color of hair. Oh, my God. Um, but, yes, there's a look at her attire. It looks great. Uh, Jazzwares did a great job with the molding of this and everything up here. It looks great. You got the gold, the black, uh, some tattoos on the arms here looking really nice. Black Black wrist gauntlets going on, which are pretty nice. I love this red handprint on the front of the little um little uh piece right here. I think that looks really awesome. And then you also got the gold on the outsides, and that says NR for Nyla Rose on the back, which I think looks really cool. I love just the red accents, like boom, and then boom. I think those look great. And then moving down, you also do have the knee pads here, which are molded onto the figure, which is pretty cool. Um you got the little gold lines going across those, and you got these big freaking boots right here. You got the black laces boots with a little topper going on with little streamers hanging down. It's a solid figure, dude. Pros for this figure are definitely that she's coming with the uh, women's championship there, as well as the cloth scarf, even though it looks torn to me. But again, you could cover it up once you do that. Head scan's okay. That's definitely one of my cons for this figure. Head scan's just not all there. It's okay, but it's not perfect. Uh, but uh, another pro, definitely the attire. I think that looks amazing. Jumping into the young bucks. Matt and Nick Jackson, I'm going to be popping them both up here because they're basically the same exact figures. Uh, just... Oh, minus the head scans. Um, so yeah, we got Matt Jackson here. We're going to take a closer look at him first. Here's his head scan. I don't like it. I got to be honest with you guys. It's just, I don't know. It just looks a little too fat to me, his head scan here. I like the, the facial expression is not too bad. It's just, I'm not the biggest fan of the head scan. The black headband doesn't look too bad. But the thing that's really got me going is this hair, dude. Matt Jackson does not have that big of a head of hair. Look at how big that is. Look at how big that head of hair is. No. And also the color on this hair looks so wet. It looks like wet paint. Look at that. It looks like wet paint. Like I could like smear it and have like brown paint on my finger. I just don't like the paint or anything about the head scan. I just don't like the head scans. As far as the attires go, they killed it. 
The attires are freaking stacked. This entrance jacket is so freaking sick. Obviously, it would have been pretty cooler in cloth, but I'm still, I ain't complaining. This is sick. You got the purple and the yellow Lakers colors going on here, which look amazing. It buckles up in the front, if you guys are wondering, which is very cool. You got the little belt, uh, belt buckle hanging down there. You're also getting these streamers that are hanging off the arms and a bunch of different splattered paint going throughout the figure. I think it looks amazing. It says YB on the back for Young Bucks. Entrance jackets are amazing, as well as the tights. Let's, uh, let's remove one of the entrance jackets here for Matt Jackson. I'm not going to be doing it for Nick because, again, it's the same body. It's literally the same body. But once again, look at that hair. Matt Jackson's, Matt Jackson's hair is not that thick. What the crap? That, that's just bothering me a little bit. Uh, as far as the torso goes, I love the torso choice. Arms look really good. And here's the attire once again. They nailed it. The purple and the yellow attire is so good. The YB Young Bucks on the side. I just love the purple and yellow. It's I don't know if it's just because I like the Lakers logo. Um, But, dude, this looks great. It says Bucks on this side in yellow and purple. The little uh, boot little streamers look really nice as well. Very nice figures. It's just, dude, the head scans I cannot get behind. Here's the uh, Nick Jackson head scan, which isn't as bad as the mat, in my opinion. But again, it's just not all there. They use this one on the AW Unrivaled Series 1. Like I said, it's not too bad. It's just, yeah, the front's decent. I mean, the headband looks good, but... Oh, it's just, again, with the hair. It looks so wet and glossy to me. I just don't like it. it. Just doesn't. It just looks way too glossy. You know what I mean? i just just not a big fan. As far as the attire goes, it's the same as uh, Matt Jackson because, of course, they are tag team partners. Definitely pros for these figures are going to be the entrance jackets. The entrance jackets are really cool. Even though they're not cloth, they look fantastic. And I love the color scheme to the attires. And the attires are amazing. Cons for these figures, both head scans. Not a fan whatsoever and the hair color just not a fan but as far as the attires go they nailed it times two but yes guys that has been the review of the young bucks and nyla rose i really hope you guys enjoyed definitely my favorite of these three is going to be the nyla rose they nailed it times two with that figure uh but yes this has been the review of the young bucks and nyla rose picked them up from ringside collectibles wrestling figures.com using discount called live and check it to save 10 percent feel free to use it for yourself save yourself some money on unraveled series 7 and everything else that they sell over there accessories wrestling figures wwe figures aw figures ufc figures everything Every type of wrestling figure out there is available at ringside. Go hook them up. Use code LIVE. Pick up a figure for yourself. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to Brit Alive. Like this video. See you guys next time. Brit Alive out.